hello from Fanta BH. Today I will show in this video I will show uh, how to build your own good bench power supply. Here is schematic of what we're gonna build and during this video I will comment and try to tell everything important for you to know. I using Eagle Cutsoft to build uh, PCB board and to plan how it will look. For that I need to transfer schematic from any source into Eagle software. What I am doing right, right now, this is just small parts about when I started doing it. I will not go uh, into details how to do that. There are as I know there is uh, one very nice free online CADSOFT tool where you can build your own project. So it's not necessary to know Eagle. Eagle is uh, slightly complicated but not so complicated. But if you decide uh, to use Eagle you can use it for uh, education but no commercial use usage of this software all over it. Below the video are all important links for this project. I do advise before you start doing anything, collect all electronic parts you're going to need for this project. Here you see PCB layout and what I build it, build for this project. Uh, this is the PCB layout I use it but in this video I will show another maybe slightly better PCB layout for same schematic. Here is a schematic imported second time into Eagle on pretty much better way than first but I built this again I, I have to say I built this uh, bench power supply according to first version of schematic you can see in this video I uh, I showing a second version just because it have a better solution it, it have better build you will see now on uh, you will see here uh, in how PCB layout looks I use it uh, much stronger routing between components and for I took care about the uh, most important thing for uh, every power supply is to have strong leads strong roots on PCB which can handle uh, high current so here is a second better version of same schematic so let's build PCP my method uh, is photo method as you can see on uh, this picture that is how I was doing this PCB especially uh, I using uh, as lighting source I using a fluorescent lamp and before that I print black and white PCB to the tracing paper. This is image of uh, black and white PCB. So like you can see there is no elements, there is nothing, only routing on uh, PCB and that is printed uh, like picture in uh, mirror on the tracing paper. So we transfer that uh, to the photo PCB then like you see in picture I place that tracing paper uh, with uh, printed board over uh, between lamp and photo board and uh, exposing to fluorescent light around for period of, for a period of uh, 20 minutes or so that is the procedure how I doing it there is an other ways as well but I like this way and when you finish it with uh, this PCB you have to use uh, sodium hydroxide solution and place board in that solution uh, till you don't see clear 
routings on the board. That means uh, this solution will remove protective layer from the copper on every place which got exposed to the light. When you see clear routings on the board, it means you are done with uh, sodium hydroxide solution. Remove the board and place it under water, fresh water, to remove all possible uh, sodium hydroxide traces on the board. This image here of uh, PCB board in uh, sodium hydroxide is not my image, it's not my board, it's just random from the internet, just because I forgot to record that part. It's time to perform etching, that means remove all, not need all copper parts from the board which are not needed. For that I using uh, ferric chloride, even some people claim it's not the best, I had uh, never, uh, I had never any problem with uh, using ferric chloride, besides ferric chloride is uh, real aggressive to any metal surface, so be careful when working with it, whatever you use don't use uh, anything which is made from any kind of metal. Wall procedure of fetching takes around 20 minutes. In my case uh, it can vary from case to case. It depends on room temperature of uh, ferric chloride solution temperature. And a lot of things uh, are involved in etching so keep eye while you etching when it's, when it's finished. After etching is done, it's time to perform last step, it's drilling. As you can see, I doing everything manually, improvising and such thing. I don't have a regular working space, so I do what I can and how I can. Final product is what is important and how it's how it is done it's not important drilling is a little boring procedure but uh, you have to do it carefully to not miss where to place holes and such thing and for checking as you can see i using a piece of uh, white paper behind the board so i can clearly see uh, which drills which holes are missed for a drilling holes I using one millimeter drill and uh, on places when where uh, is needed a little bigger than one millimeter. That is that is all about uh, this procedure how to make board uh, and this is uh, I decided to do this video in two parts, first part is making board, second part is uh, performing, uh, placing elements on the board, testing and solving problems and such thing. Thank you for watching and subscribe for future videos to stay in touch and part two coming in two or three days.